Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Hey, guys, check this out. It's September the 25th, and I've got a great video today. I'm going to be going over the New Body Spa, a couple of other strip clubs in Tijuana that I've never gone over before. I'm also going to give you guys reviews and updates on the Hong Kong Club, the Adelita Bar, the Chicago Club, the Big Three. I'm going to talk about the things we always talk about. Guys, before I get started, if you're new here, smash that red subscribe button. Nobody covers Tijuana, Costa Rica, or Colombia like I do. If you're a returning subscriber, guys, stick around and watch this entire video. At the end of this video, I've got one hilarious story to tell you. I got some crazy stuff I did that involves Mexican cops and Mexican prostitutes, all kinds of stuff, right? So stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to tell you that story. Now, guys, also, don't forget two big things. Number one, I'm having a huge Halloween party. Everybody is invited to the Halloween party. We're going to start out on Revolution Avenue. There's, and then we're going to take it on down to Zona Norte, Coahuila. There's going to be lots of drink, lots of girls, lots of fun. Okay. Everybody's invited. We're going to have a great time. All right, guys. Number two, check this out. For those of you who don't know, every Saturday night, sometimes Friday, but mostly Saturday night, I go live. So I live stream and I also take live callers. So you can call in. We talk about the girls in Costa Rica, the girls in Tijuana at the Red Light District, the Hong Kong Club, whatever it is we can talk about. It's usually a pretty good time. All right, guys, jumping right into the review. Here we go. First of all, everything's the same at the Adelita Bar, the Chicago Club, and the Gloria, okay? For those of you who don't know, there the bars are closed downstairs, but upstairs in the hotels, you're going to find a ton of girls, a ton of music, a ton of waiters, a ton of drinks, and you're going to have fun. You can do anything that you used to do downstairs, only you have to go upstairs in the hotel to do it now, right? They're trying to make everything look good, but we all know what's going on upstairs. Okay, guys, pretty much the same at Hong Kong. A really good buddy of mine was in Hong Kong over the weekend. There was no cover charge. He, he went straight upstairs to the seventh floor. There were tons of girls on the seventh floor. Everything was on and cracking. So he actually asked the security guy, he was like, hey, man, what's going on? You know, I was here a couple weeks ago when there was a cover charge and then we couldn't go in. One day it's closed. One day it's not closed. And the security guy basically said this. He said, hey, man, look, we're doing our best to keep this place open and through the pandemic and all that stuff. But there's people that we have to appease. We have to make it look good. There's some things that we have to do. Sometimes we have to be closed for a day or two. Sometimes we have to take it down the street for a day or two. But hey, for the most part, we're open. We're having fun. There's no cover charge. So guys, as of this video, it's on and cracking at the Hong Kong Club. Now that could change. Everything's kind of been the same at the other bars, but the Hong Kong Club has kind of changed. You know, some days it's open, some days it's closed. Some days there's a cover, some days there's no cover. But as we're speaking right now, the seventh floor is fire. There's tons of women up there and it's wide open on seven and there was no cover charge. So that's what we're hoping for, okay? All right, guys, the New Body Spa. So I sent my buddy Froyland down to the New Body Spa since I couldn't be in Tijuana. I'm in North Dakota working right now for about another week or so. So I sent my buddy Froyland down there. He's lived in Tijuana for about 18 years He's a total pro in Zona Norte and Coahuila, but he went down to the New Body Spa to check it out. Let me tell you what he said about the New Body Spa. He said he walked into the New Body Spa and it was anywhere. They had a price list, okay, from $150 to $250. And I will upload that price list on my Facebook page, okay? So if you're looking for me on Facebook, my Facebook is the same as my YouTube channel. It's Luke Powell, right? You can check me out on Facebook and you can see this price list. Now, on this price list, guys, it appeared to be strictly professional and it had things such as manicure, pedicure, Swedish massage, deep tissue massage. You can apparently get a private room. You can order drinks. You can get a private room with a jacuzzi, okay? Now, the business hours on this place are from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m., okay? And he said it was just like walking into Mermaid Spa. If you've never been to Mermaid Spa in Tijuana, check out my video on Mermaid Spa. I give an excellent review on it. Okay, guys. He said it was just like walking into basically any other massage parlor in Tijuana. You walk in. They bring the girls out. They had seven or eight girls right there. They all introduce themselves to you. And then you can make up your mind from there what service on the menu you want. And then you can take the show back to the room 
and get whatever service that you've paid for. Now, here's the catch, guys. He did not go back there. And I've heard from two other subscribers that it is only a legitimate professional massage place. And I've heard from two other subscribers that they were offered extra services like full service, happy ending, whatever you want to call it at this place. Okay. So I'm going to have to go with, it's a not legitimate place and there are extra services offered. Me knowing Mexico like I do, me knowing Tijuana like I do, and those business hours, guys, come on. Any place that's open from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m., I guarantee you, it's just like your parents said, nothing good goes on at night, okay? But, so here's the thing, guys. It's still divided right now. I just told you about the girls there, the price list, the jacuzzi room, but a couple of guys are saying it's a full-service establishment. A couple of guys are saying that it's legitimate professional massage. Now, that means... Big Daddy's going to have to go. I'm going to go down there, guys. I'm going to get down like a clown, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to find out what's going on there, and I'm going to report it for you guys. How about that? So until then, you're just going to have to go on what I'm telling you on this video. Okay, one other thing I would like to add. In any case, if it is a legitimate professional massage place, I think that's super cool because other than the Viva Max Spa, which I did a review on the Viva Max Spa, on Revolution, that would probably be the only legitimate massage place in Tijuana, especially Revolution and Zona Norte, okay? So by the way, guys, if you're looking for a legitimate massage parlor where you can get a professional massage and it's not anything, any shenanigans going on, go ahead and check out the Viva Mex Spa on Revolution Avenue. It's right by the Espana Hotel across from the Caliente. It's a good time, guaranteed. Okay, guys. That's going to wrap up my review and my news of Zona Norte. So if you're still sticking around, I want to tell you guys something. It's absolutely hilarious. Something that I did probably back in 2005, 2006. I was drunk in Tecate, Mexico, and I was at a place called Bar Chihuahua. It's also called Fat Sammy's. You know, it's also called Doña Pancha. Now, that bar is closed down right now. It's no more. But it, uh, it was a famous bar in Tijuana. And I'm um, excuse me, in Tecate. And wow, I messed up. Unbelievable. Seven minutes, no editing, whatever it was. I made my first mistake. Anyways, keep rolling. So here's the deal, guys. I'm up in this bar. I'm drunk. I'm upstairs. And I don't know what I was thinking. I was upstairs in the room by myself. I think I just went to sleep. But I woke up around three in the morning and I was ready to go. Now, downstairs, they had music, they had girls. Okay, it was on and cracking downstairs. But for whatever, whatever reason, I was leaving and I took my Mexican cell phone because I had heard of this prank being played before. And I called 066 in Mexico, which is like calling 911 in the States. So this lady answers the phone and she's like, Policia Municipal de Tecate, como te puedo ayudar? Like municipal police in Tecate, how can I help you? And I go, yeah, check this out. There's a shootout. I told her in Spanish. They're having a shootout down here at the Bar Chihuahua, and I'm scared, and I don't know what to do. And I was kind of screaming and making it all sound, you know, legit. And she's like, oh, my God, where are you at? And I said, well, I'm upstairs in the hotel, but they're shooting downstairs. And she goes, oh, my God, lock yourself in the room and stay there and don't move, and the police are on their way. And I go, okay, cool, right? And there was a little more to the conversation. I was using some foul language and stuff, but I'm trying not to get any more of my videos demonetized on YouTube. So I'm just telling you what I did, right? So I call in this incident that never happened, get in my car and I take off toward the house. So I take off toward the house and there's like three or four blocks down the road. There's like 20 squad cars, boom, 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 all with their lights on and stuff. They're headed wide open toward the bar. And here I am driving past them the other way, right? And <laughs> so anyways, I go home that night and the next night I go back to the bar to see what was going on. So I told the bartender who I was really good friends with, I go, hey man, I go, let me ask you this. I said, tell me what's going on with uh, all the cops at your place last night? He goes, man, some son of a bitch called in a shootout. We didn't have a shooting at all. Can you believe that? I go, no, man, I can't believe it. I said, that's messed up. Oh, I said, but when we find that guy, I said, we got to kick his ass. He's like, I totally agree. When we find him, we got to beat his ass. And I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> they never did find out it was me. And I just thought it was hilarious because here I am like leaving the scene, right? And here all these cops are passing me the other way. 
All right, guys, any questions you might have, thanks for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button. I've got a ton of cool stories like that. I'm going to start telling them in my live chats. And at the end of my videos, on my updates, I'm going to start giving you guys a story if you guys want to hear it, okay? And if it's not a hit or you don't want to hit it, you think it sucks, just let me know. Also, if you guys are still listening, the reason why I do not edit my videos is because a lot of people have told me that they like it when I just fire like this and one take Drake. So that's what I'm doing, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Share this video. Talk to you later. Be safe.